What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of error or issue you're currently having with Rainbow Six Siege. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want you guys to know or let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys. You would support my work on YouTube in a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get right started. So the first step in order to fix this kind of issue is gonna be to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, clicking onto the window symbol, opening up your settings, navigating right onto update and security and sticking around Windows update. And I know guys it's gonna sound a little bit basic, but trust me it will help you a lot. I want you to download the latest version of Windows just to provide the best possible performance in general for your PC. So once you're finished with that, I want you to enter task and do the same thing for a graphics card. So hit the browser, hit the application, download the latest version of your graphics card driver just to provide the best possible performance in general for your PC. Afterwards, take your uh, shortcut, so your launcher shortcut on your desktop or your in-game shortcut on your desktop. You're going to right-click it and hit properties so at the very bottom. You're going to click into compatibility and simply copy my settings. So let's quickly run through it. Compatibility mode, enable run this program compatibility mode for it. Select Windows 8, disable the disable full screen optimizations as well as enable run this program as an add-on starter. Hit apply and OK. I would personally recommend to restart your PC afterwards. And once it is restarted, you should be able to see this little add-on symbol, as you can see, on your shortcut. And afterwards, I want you to uh, simply launch a game over the launcher or launch a game instantly and this will probably fix your issue. Yeah guys, that's it for the video. I hope that I could actually help you out. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm gonna really be sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm uh, just trying to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you in the next one and bye.